Hey everybody, it's Lindsay, and as requested, here are my swatches of Mary Kay lipsticks. Um, I asked if that was something that you were interested in seeing, and I got a lot of response back. One thing, one reason that I want to do this is because I get really frustrated looking at when you're looking at a certain makeup company or nail polish company's website and they have the swatch and it is just so hard to tell from that what a lipstick or a nail polish or a blush or anything like that is actually going to look like. Um, not only do monitors vary or things like that, but just the pictures aren't always, the, you know, they're airbrushed and photoshopped and things like that. So even though you're watching this on a computer or a phone or whatever, and your screen is going to look different than in real life, I still think seeing it on a person and seeing it in the tube or whatever is much better at getting a feel for how it's going to look on you than looking at a little swatch online. So that's the reason I have a bunch to go through. So I'm just going to get started. The first one is actually the one I'm wearing. This is one of my favorites. Um, it, it's the color Whisper. And the new packaging is super nice. They have kind of the color on the front there. So, you know, even though they're all in black tubes, you can tell what you're gonna get. And this one's just a really pretty nude color. It's no shimmer. It's not sheer. I mean, it's pretty, it's full coverage, a little more moisturizing than some of the other ones. And it's just the perfect neutral, go-to neutral. If you want to be able to slap a lipstick on without even thinking about it, Whisper is the one. It's the most neutral, in my opinion, of all of them. And I use that one a lot. I actually had to pull it out of my purse to do this video because I had so many of them. And on you know the topic of Mary Kay lipsticks, I these are my favorite brand of lipsticks. My favorite color is MAC Viva Glam 2, but these are my favorite brand just because they wear so nicely they're not so glossy that they're off your lips in 30 minutes uh, but they don't dry your lips out they wear very nicely they look very nice and yeah i just these are my favorite lipsticks so that's why i also why i want to do these my lips are going to be super irritated by the end of this but i think it's easier also to show you on my lips what the color actually looks like rather than just on my hand or something the next one is mocha freeze another one of my favorites this one is a little bit of a frost a little bit of a shimmer um tan brown color and the frost I'm not a, usually a frosted lipstick kind of person but the frost lightens it it can look it, if without the frost this would be too dark of a brown for me I think but the frost kind of lightens it and just gives it a really neat look so love that one this one in my opinion is kind of the pink counterpart to mocha freeze and this one is pink shimmer and it is a very neutral cool more cool toned pink with a frosted shimmer to it and it's what I have on my lips and I really stay away from pink lips on me I just think I pull pinks naturally in my skin and so it doesn't always flatter me this one is the most wearable pink I've ever worn it is so neutral and I'll show you it this is pink shimmer next to mocha freeze and you can just see the difference they look almost the same except one is more tan and the other is more pink so love that one too Sticking with the neutrals, the, the neutrals are kind of what I wear most often, so these tend to be more of my favorites. This one is Amber Glow, and this one definitely an ambery color. Um, really, again, nice and natural. A little bit of a shimmer, and when I say shimmer, I don't mean glitter in any way. None of these lipsticks have glitter or anything that would make them look, you know, young, teenage-y, that kind of thing. Um, but this one is just really nice when you want a little bit of that more ambery, yellow toned neutral. And this one is Copper Star. And this one, again, is so similar to Amber Glow, in my opinion. I have them swatched here. Here's Copper Star, that's what's on my lips right now. And Amber Glow is beside it. They have the exact same finish, pretty much the same look, except Copper Star is clearly more coppery. Amber Glow, more of that amber color. Here is the color Maple on my lips. This one, again, beautiful neutral. Oh, forgot to wipe this off. Um, no shimmer, very much a cream color, and it's very similar to Whisper, except that Maple, here's Maple, here's Whisper, is a little bit deeper and has a little bit more of a mauve undertone to it, but very slightly, just a very slight undertone. Still very neutral and, you know, very wearable day to day. I love this one. The next one is Shell, and my packaging is, I mean, this is Mary Kay Signature. This is mega old. I've had this for so long, but it's still one that I really like. This is a neutral pink, um, you know, similar to Maple and Whisper, but definitely more, a little more pink, but 
It's not an in-your-face pink because I don't, you know, again, I don't really wear those colors. So this one's really nice. And even though this is in the old packaging, they still, they still have this one. Here's Apricot Glaze. This one is similar to the last one. It has no shimmer to it. It's just a cream color. And it's a little bit more of that apricot kind of orange undertone than shell. And you can see them here. Here is apricot glaze and here's shell. You can see this one's a little pinker and this one has a little bit more of that warm orangey undertone. This one not quite as flattering on me as some of the others. All right, the one I'm wearing now is toffee. And this one, I feel like I just keep building upon these. Toffee's right here. Here's apricot glaze, here's shell. And you can just see they kind of keep building upon each other. Um, apricot glaze was a little bit more orange and warm than shell. And then you can see toffee is even more of a bolder, corally color. I don't want to call it orange because it's not orange. It definitely has, it's a mix of pink and orange, which is more like that corally color. This one is a little bit bolder than apricot glaze. And this one I'm wearing now is in Sweet Nectar, and this is just not my shade. This one is too light and too pinky, peachy colored for me. I can swatch it for you here. Um, this clearly is not a color for everyone, but it, I mean, it is going to work for some people. Just for me, for my coloring, this isn't doing it for me. I like something a little bit deeper on my lips and less pink. Now I'm wearing Whipped Berries, and this is the color, oh, it's just one of my all-time favorites. This is the color that got me to start experimenting with deeper, more bold colors than just a nude for me, because nude was definitely my go-to. This one is a berry shade, but it is neutral. It doesn't pull pink, it doesn't pull too much purple. It's so wearable. I would recommend this for anybody who is looking to try something a little bolder than a nude, but you know, doesn't want to go something crazy dark. This is just so wearable. I'm in love with this color. Beautiful for fall and winter. Um, yeah, just, I have recommended this color to so many people because it's just a great stepping stone into to trying and experimenting with bolder colors. This one is red and it is exactly like the color sounds. It is just a classic red. This was in my December 2011 favorites. I love this color. If you are into a bold red lip, this one is perfect. It is just the classic red. I mean, not too bright, not too dark, um, not, I mean, it has a tiny bit of a frost, I guess you could say. Oh, no, I smudged it here, but not really. I mean, it's pretty much just a cream color. So wearable, so versatile, so creamy. Love this one. Oh, and one more note about this red. This is not one of the reds that makes your teeth look yellowy. When you wear more orangey reds and things like that, they can start to look, your makes your teeth just look dingy. And I think you can tell, this one actually, I feel like makes my teeth look whiter, which is always a plus. So those are all of the lipsticks that I actually own. Um, I'm gonna still do a couple swatches. I have like the samples that I do when I you know do classes and things like that. Uh, these are just ones that I haven't either haven't picked up yet or I'm not going to pick up and the one I'm wearing is clearly one I'm not going to pick up. This one is sheer blush and um, Yeah, this one is super light and super frosted and I think the only way that this is really wearable is if you're gonna do an accent If you're wearing a deeper more natural color and you're just gonna put it a little bit in the middle or something or maybe to lighten up a darker lipstick you have it could be really pretty but on its own this looks so trashy on <laughs> me and I yeah, I don't know. I don't mean to put it down, but this is just clearly not the one for me. All right, now I'm wearing Dusty Rose, and this one is a cream color. doesn't have shimmer or a metallic frost to it or anything like that. And this one is an orange coral color. Um, I don't think it necessarily makes my teeth look yellow, but this really, I don't feel like is my color either. Um, to compare it to Apricot Glaze, here is Dusty Rose. Um, and I wouldn't even call it really a rose color. This is pretty pretty corally to me. And then here is Apricot Glaze, which is another one that pulled a little bit of warmth to it. And you can see the difference. Um, Dusty Rose that I have on my lips right now is definitely a little bit more of that coral color and a little bit bolder. This one is Icy Peach and this one compared, here's Icy Peach compared to Dusty Rose, definitely more orange, definitely a little bit more bold. And you can see Icy Peach is definitely pulls more of the pink um, I actually happen to like this one, I think, on me better than the Dusty Rose. Still probably not one in my comfort zone that I'd wear day to day because it is kind of more of that orange color, but I actually like this one. So if you're going for this look, I really like this one. This is Icy Peach again. 
This one is Sunset, and this is one that I've um, de been debating whether or not to buy an actual lipstick. This is just a sample. Um, and after putting this on and actually wearing it, I actually really like it. It's still, we're kind of following in the themes of the corals, but definitely bolder. I think with me, um, I don't like the in-between shades that are really just gonna wash me out. I like the neutrals and the nudes, but when it comes to these kind of orange, pink corals, if it's too light, then it kind of just looks weird. But this is bold, this is making a statement. I love this for spring and summer, but sorry, I keep looking at myself in the mirror because in person, I think it looks very wearable still. Uh, bolder, but it doesn't wash me out and it gives my lips some definition and yeah, I really like this one. This one will definitely be on my list of ones to pick up next time. And here is Sunny Citrus. This is the boldest of the lipsticks, I, in my opinion, that Mary Kay makes, you know, the brightest. Sunny Citrus is no doubt about it an orange. It is so bright and so fun. This is definitely not a shade for everybody. Um, I would wear this if I was going out or something like that to the office. I'm probably not gonna see this on my lips, but um, I know orange lips were so in last year and I've been reading beauty blogs and things like that and orange is really in again this year, that tangerine kind of color. So this would definitely be something I could see a lot of people wearing, um, not for the faint of heart, but if you're looking for a little adventure, I think this one is a really fun one. and. You know, considering I'm, you know, stuck to neutrals for so long, I'm just so enjoying these bolder pops of colors, and I think it also just makes me so excited for spring and summer. I'm so sick of the winter, so this one is sunny citrus to brighten up my day. <laughs> this one I'm wearing now is pink satin, and in my opinion, this is kind of a true classic pink. It's not a bright, it's not bright, it's not deep, it doesn't wash me out, it's just the very classic pink, and I actually like this one for a pink. Um, because it's not pulling that orange, that light orange color, I don't think it looks so weird on me. But yeah, this is just a classic pink. And this is the last swatch. This one is Raisinberry, and after seeing it on, I'm thinking this is another one I need to add to my list of ones to buy because I'm loving this. Deeper than some of the other ones, but it has very slight shimmer to it, so slight, mainly cream. Um, and I swatched it next to, here's Raisinberry, and here is Whipped Berries, and you can see the difference. Whipped Berry is definitely a little bit more of the berry shade and brighter, and Raisinberry is exactly like it's called, more of a raisin shade, pulling a little more of the brown than the purple berry color. Um, but I really like this, I don't think it's too dark. So that is it, these are all the swatches of the lipsticks that I either have or have samples of, and I just, after swatching these myself, I added more to my list of things I wanna buy. But yeah, I just love Mary Kay lipsticks. I love the formula. I love the way they last. I've just, it's, they're one of my go-to lip brands. If I'm picking a lipstick brand, you know, I love my Mary Kay lipsticks. Um, as many of you know, I am an independent beauty consultant for Mary Kay. This is not in any way a sponsored video. I paid for all of these things myself. Um, but if you don't know of a Mary Kay rep in your area, if you don't have one, um, the information below it, with my website is there if you wanna, buy anything. Uh, the information on shipping and taxes and all that is down there. Um, I've had a couple really successful orders and they get shipped out so fast. I mean, if you order from my Mary Kay website, it gets shipped to you faster, so much faster than when I order from Mary Kay for my, you know, consultant items and things like that. So that's definitely a plus for you bums me out a little bit that I don't get my things that fast. But so yeah, let me know what you're thinking, what you think of these lipsticks. And also um, in a future video very soon, I wanna be swatching the Mary Kay lipstick, lip glosses, sorry. They just came out with all new lip glosses, tons of new shades. I just got them today. I'm so excited. They are seriously gorgeous. So if you wanna see the swatches, let me know of the glosses. And if you have any questions about products or coloring or anything like that, please feel free to ask. I love you know helping you out and answering questions like that. Um, I will talk to you soon and I hope you all have a great week. See you everybody.